Hey guys, what's going on? Joseph Ballmer here and over here my 2000 F350 is sitting in the shop tonight because I got ready to go home from work and oh, as you can see down here on the floor I've got my full hydraulic system for my clutch spread out on the floor. Now what happened, I got in the truck, I started it up to warm up, no big deal. Got in the truck, got ready to leave, couldn't find the clutch pedal. Why? Because it was up against the dash. Now, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see down in there, but there's supposed to be a retainer on both sides. Let's try to get the light in there just right. Oh, heaven's sakes. Mercy sakes alive. This, this is just going to be a pain. Down inside of there, and I don't know how well it's going to show, you can see the one clip on that side. And I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but it's cracked. The clip on the other side, I get the light in the right spot. And the, oh heaven's sake, it broke. It allowed the rod for the clutch pedal to come out, and it was up against the dash. So guess what? We're going to have to replace the clutch master cylinder. Now, I've already pulled it out of the truck. I'll show you when it goes back in, how you put it back in. But I'm going to have to split the master cylinder from the rest of the clutch hydraulics which I'm going to do by driving that roll pin right there out and then that fitting will come out of the master cylinder the master cylinder comes with a new hose through here and we reuse the res reservoir so I'm going to get set up so that I can drive that pin out and try and keep all of this downhill so that I don't get any air down into that system because they did not incorporate a bleeder down here. So, I'm going to do that. I'll get that all set up and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I've got my hydraulic fitting clamped in the vise. You can see the roll pin right down here. And guys, while we're getting ready to pull this apart, Please do me a favor, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, if you have any questions, as always, throw them in the comments. Please share this video with your friends, and don't forget to rate it when it's all over with. Right down here, you can see the roll pin right there above my finger. I've got the hydraulic fitting clamped in the vise so that the clutch slave cylinder is sitting down here below it, and it'll keep that all going downhill and hopefully keep any air from entering this system. Now, I'm going to try, we'll try and work from this side so that you can see what I'm doing. I've got a pin punch, and we're going to put the pin punch right on that roll pin. And with any luck, we're going to drive his little butt through there. Unfortunately, this pin punch has been bent a time or two, which doesn't help. Okay, now she's gone. Let's drive this pin the rest of the way out. Now I've got it far enough out, I'm going to 
grab it on this side with a pair of pliers and squeeze it and hopefully yeah, come on I smashed it but she isn't coming out there it goes All right, we got the roll pin out. Now, go very carefully, ease up on that. We'll sit that right up there like that. Now, our new master cylinder also comes with a new gasket. It's gonna go right around there. And then, plug out the new master cylinder is going to go right down on top with any luck everything will align and I can start to drive the pin in from the far side just like this got that in if I tip my if I tip my fluid reservoir upside down and hold it downhill from the master cylinder that should allow any of the extra fluid to run back down to it I can pull the line off very gently just like that got a little bit leaked out, no biggie. And we're going to take the plug out. It'll cooperate, come on. Oh, I'm peeing everywhere. Quit that crap. And we're gonna plug our new line on, just like that. I've got my master cylinder sitting uphill. You see the bubbles coming up? It's a very good sign. That means that the bubbles are working their way out of the master cylinder and back to the reservoir which will greatly suffice the time to bleed the system it'll, it'll shorten the time to bleed the system so I'm going to sit that up there just like that I'm going to go grab some brake fluid Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Got a nice sealed container of brake fluid. And we're going to top off my clutch uh, reservoir with some fresh fluid. Okay. Now that we have that topped off, and remove the cap right here on the bleeder. Try and keep everything still in the vise. Rotate it around just a little bit. this pan that's already got some oil in it that I use for loosening bolts. We're just going to put that underneath of it and crack the bleeder with any luck anyway. open I'm 
and get a nice clean stream with no air bubbles. You wonder what mechanics do when they get off work. They fix their own shit. All right, guys. One more step you're going to want to take is get down here and grab your slave cylinder. Keep it down below. Keep, keep it at the lowest point where your reservoir is way up there. And, oh, shitty. Squeeze it. Eat, gently squeeze it oop. yeah gently squeeze it in and out and watch for air bubbles in your reservoir the first time I did this I got a whole bunch now I'm not getting any so hopefully oop, there's another one see it there's another one there's a few more. So just keep working it. Let me man. I'm not seeing any more air bubbles, I'm just seeing the fluid surge. So I think we've got them all out. We'll go back up to the truck, I'll show you how to reinstall it. Alright, so now we're back up here at the truck, and you can see the brake master cylinders right here, air filters right here. We're on the left hand side of the truck, so this is the driver's side, fuse blocks here. Right down there is the hole where the clutch master cylinder goes through the firewall. Now. What we need to do is take our clutch slave cylinder and feed it down. I know this is not, I need three hands to manage to manipulate all these lines, so and I've only got two, so I'm trying to hold the camera and show you exactly where is going to be very difficult. So I'll show you here in just a second. But you're going to be going down under oh for heaven's sakes i got a wiring harness hooked you're going to be going down under the brake master cylinder in between the engine and the frame with the clutch slave cylinder which here again is easier said than done because you got to get it down to the transmission now let's put it this way the end of that clutch master or the clutch slave cylinder it's going to cut, catch on to every damn wiring harness, wire, line, that is down there. Trust me, it's a bugger. Okay, it's under the truck. Now, my clutch master cylinder can go back that direction. My reservoir right here has to go underneath and yes you can turn it upside down temporarily it's not going to hurt anything not that i really want to but oh it's got to go underneath and come up on the other side of the brake master cylinder because it mounts right over here so we're just gonna for temporary purposes wedge it right there now Hopefully you can see okay. I'm going to reach down in here. I'm going to fish the hell around. And I'm going to find my clutch master cylinder. Now, slide this rubber boot back. It's going to go... This is going to be hard to show you. It's got to go in that, fire, in that hole in the firewall. And if you notice, it's got... It's a, about an eighth of a turn once you get it through the dash to lock it in Oops. about an eighth of a turn once you get it through the dash to lock it in so once you get it into the hole on the outside yep that's right you got to find the hole in the bracket for the clutch pedal there it goes 
and then there's a spring retainer. You gotta push it in and rotate. Oh my goodness, I don't know if that showed up or not. Push, but you push it in and you rotate. I've got it in, got it rotated around to the correct position. Now I'm gonna take you under the truck and do my best to show you how to install the slave. So, as you can see, it's nice and snowy outside. This truck is dripping turds all over me. Now, the slave cylinder goes in that hole right there, and as you can see, it's got three lugs. And here it is. So, oh, I'm gonna fish it around my oil filter, if it'll cooperate, and not be a complete and total pain in the keister. Now, if it's gonna go up, we're gonna go in the hole. Oh, goodness gracious. Hopefully you guys can see this all right. But it goes in the hole, and then if you can see the rounded over edge, you gotta compress it into the hole. Oh, come on. Come on, Bessie. In, and then rotate it. And it'll lock in. Whew. That's installed. And once you get that installed, there's a retainer for the line. Ow, oh, shit. And a really sharp screw. It's hiding right up there. Clip the line uh, into the retainer. Just like that. Oh, lick your wounds. Roll your fat ass out from under the truck. Oh, Lord have mercy. And then we're going to go onto the dash. Now, under here, right up here, if it's showing up on camera, hopefully, right there is where the slave cylinder comes through the firewall. See, I've got it rotated in position. There's your clutch rod. Oh, there we go. And that should go right down the middle. Line up your, bam, locked in. Now, if I push down on my clutch, that feels really good. Everything seems to be working. So, it's staying in there, it's staying in there now. This pedal isn't up against the emergency brake release. Put my floor mat back in a minute. All we have left to do, is I get my microphone to keep swinging. All we have left to do is reattach our reservoir and double check our fluid level. Now, the reservoir is supposed to attach with some little like Christmas tree fasteners. And unfortunately, when I removed them, they both broke. 21 years old and it's cold. Since I don't have the correct fasteners tonight, and I'm well past the point when the auto parts store is going to deliver them to me. I'm going to take a couple zip ties and, ah, come on, don't, don't fall through there. We're going to zip tie this baby up here, right? I mean, it, it attaches to this wiring harness anyway. So we're going to, we're going to zip tie it right up here. That way we can keep it up where it needs to be. And I can at least make it home until I can get the proper fasteners. Since it's mine and it's at night, we're going to zip tie these up. And then when I can get the proper fasteners, I'll put them in because nobody's going to be mad at me but me. Go. 
it's nicely fastened off. It's not going to go anywhere. Now we can actually double check our fluid level. I'm also going to double check and make sure everything functions properly. So that's really simple. Oh, in order to do that. Reach in. perfect I can shift through the gears um, when I start to ease out on it, it starts coming out it engages so that's exactly what we need now I have just shown you how and, and keep in mind the removal process for the slave cylinder and the master cylinder is opposite of the installation process I know you didn't I didn't show you that but I kind of had to figure out what was going on before I could make this video so like I said if you're looking at it from the front of the firewall up here in order to remove the slave cylinder which is right down here as you're looking at it it's going to be a, about a eighth of a turn clockwise to remove that to remove the slave cylinder down below push in as hard as you can about an eighth of a turn it'll only go one way it'll pop out take the whole system out as one unit Try and keep everything uphill so your air bubbles all go up. And then put it all back together, bleed it on the bench, put it in the truck, you're good to go. It's that simple. It's actually really easy. One person can do it, no special tools. So, do me a favor. Please comment, rate, subscribe, share. Hopefully, I won't have to make any more videos fixing stuff like this that's fucked up so I can go home at night. Because I like to make videos of stuff that I'm doing for the fun of it. But you're gonna see some more of this truck and some more of these videos, so stay tuned. Uh, really cool truck. I really love this truck. Just got it about a week ago. So, like I said, comment, rate, subscribe, share. Don't be afraid to get out there, get your hands dirty. You might have a little fun doing it. We will see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.